traffic stop on County Road 87 in Alberta. Behind the wheel, Justin Nelson and his truck, two catalytic converters. And the first time a new Alabama law came into play in Baldwin County. The law is, is, is pretty extensive and it's pretty specific what you have to have uh, to possess that catalytic converter. And if you don't, you go to jail. In a matter of seconds, catalytic converters can be cut from a vehicle, costing the owners thousands of dollars to replace, while thieves make a quick buck for their trouble. Last year, it happened at Cockrell's Body Shop in Robertsdale. They hit nine vehicles in total, got six converters for an approximate value of about $19,000. At the time, owner Mike Hawthorne was practically begging for something to be done. We need to be able to go back and call these recycle yards and say, yes, the person actually brought in eight yesterday. Let me give you his information. Here's his address. Here's his name. Here's, you know, at least something like that, I think, would have a, would have a, a decent effect. In the days past, we've, we've contacted people with catalytic converters. You know, it's hard to prove where it came from or anything like that. Now, if you're caught with a used or detached converter, it's a misdemeanor, a second arrest, a felony, and law enforcement can take your vehicle, too. With this new law, it'll give, um, give us a little bit of teeth, so to speak, uh, that we can go ahead and, you know, make the arrest without proving exactly where it came from.